Job was happy, for his children were about him. The days faded into evening, and he looked out on the peaceful land and watched the stars as they came forth in silent procession. He silently glorified the great hand which controls the universe. But there came a day when the adversary struck Job with his wrath. Messengers falling at Job's feet told him of disaster following disaster. His flocks destroyed by lightning, his beasts of burden carried away by plundering tribes, his servants put to the sword, and finally the death of his sons and daughters by a mighty wind which laid low the homes of feasting and pleasure. Job, in anguish, cast himself upon the ground, laying his forehead in the dust. The adversary watched, ever ready to return to his master with the story of Job's fall from his faith in God. In spite of his misfortunes, Job remained steadfast and continued to worship God. Again the adversary approached the throne, saying, All that a man hath will he give for his life. Put forth thine hand and touch his flesh, and he will turn from thee. God answered, He is in thine hand, but save his life. The adversary went forth. Job's suffering was intense. He was banished from the habitations of man. Yet, in his suffering and misfortune, he remained faithful to God, saying, Shall we receive good at the hand of God and not expect to receive misfortune? Guide and Marshall, you will conduct the pilgrims to the junior princess. <laughs>